after every storm there is a rainbow so we all have to go through that storm so we can find our rainbow vibration sky high <laughs> Welcome back to my channel it's your girl coco once again i know y'all miss me i know y'all miss his face my vlogs and everything i miss y'all also i'm sorry that i was absent for two whole weeks but as you can see by the thumbnail or the title um your girl has been hella depressed and has been dealing with heavy anxiety attacks not the type of person to really share about my personal life but i really think that the, that these type of things need to be talked about um, because so much of us struggle with this especially me i struggled with this for two whole months in total silence i didn't talk to nobody about this it was only me in my room had a depressed having anxiety randomly like it was not it i was trying to fake it for the camera but i know damn well that i'm not the type of person to fake being myself so i really decided to you know shut it down for two whole um weeks and just stay off social media completely and uh, it literally worked it literally um So yeah, it literally worked, it literally helped me so much finding myself with the healing process, let's say. Um, at first, always I thought that no, I would never do such things, you know, shut off completely of social media because I'm an influencer, like I need, that's my work, I need to be doing this 24-7, but I'm also human, I also have feelings, I also go through things. I'm also literally living life and I'm still young and there's so much things that I still need to learn and also adapt myself to and I just need to allow myself to feel such way and also um, look out for myself let's say so appreciate myself love myself and all those type of things so right now um, I'm not going to say that I'm completely healed. No, I'm not. I'm still in the process, but I'm doing way better. And I wanted to take advantage of this video and talk about how um, I became this healing process and how it's going. And also giving y'all chance how to, let's say tips, how to overcome depression and anxiety. So yeah, I just wanted to be the voice to each one of y'all but first before we start from the bottom of my heart i would really appreciate it if you just share this with your friends because most of the times so much of us struggle with this in complete silence a friend can just fake it around you and you don't even know that they're dealing with depression ptsd or whatever it is so it's really important for you to just share this video with your friends it doesn't have to be only woman because men are also human they also have feelings so share this with your friends male and female friends and tell them to watch this so this can also help more people and reach more people so we can help each other by growing and healing in these difficult times so I'm going to give you two minutes I'm going to wait on you share this subscribe and uh, yes your time starts right now. Are you done? Did you share it? Okay, perfect. So um, I'm going to use my other phone because I made like a few notes um, on all those 
jams or all those things that help me to um, be where I am today. Grab your, I don't know, grab something to eat, grab your drink because I think this will be a long, long video but it will be filled with so much handy tips so it can help each one of y'all reach your goal and start your healing process or help you with your healing process so um what anyway my phone is flipping sorry um so first of all i have on my list be vulnerable and feel allow yourself to feel and be vulnerable um depression is no joke i swear it's no joke um you can lay on your bed the whole day without doing nothing and there will be days that you will be so in your feelings so in your thoughts overthinking whatever it is that you feel so um drained emotionally that you don't know what to do only thing that you know how to do is sleep and sleep and you don't even want to eat or whatever so i really want to say just allow yourself to feel it's okay to feel it's okay to cry your balls your eyeballs out it's okay we're human i found myself during this process one day i i literally remember this day i began crying not even one day like this happens daily i all of a sudden i just feel like my emotions are all over the place i don't know why there there was no sudden reason why i was crying and what i was crying my eyeballs out i swear i was crying i wanted to break everything in the room i didn't know what to do but allow yourself to feel vulnerable and you know let your emotions out there's nothing wrong with that especially man like if you're a man watching this right now allow yourself to feel allow yourself to cry because they have the tendency to say yes men don't cry blah 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 but nigga you know you know them well you have so much emotions from really inside of you that you want to scream you want to beat you want to do all those things but you only have to start like being vulnerable with yourself and cry all the emotions out Second of all, and the most important of all in all these gems that I'm going to hand y'all is accepting God in your life. If you're not religious, then skip to the next part. But let me tell you, this is the most important part. Most important part of all. Without God, I won't be here right now. Without God, I swear I will be quitting this channel i will be shutting down all my things and just be in my own shell and ghost everybody i wouldn't overcome this depression and these anxiety attacks without him he helped me in each and every step of the way i'm a religious person um already so every morning when i wake up first thing that i do is pray before i go on my phone uh, but you know I was just praying to just pray thank him for the day thank him for my family everything for my health blah blah, blah. but what really changed the game in this phase was I didn't only pray but I talked to him as I'm talking to y'all right now I was talking to him as I'm talking to a human being like telling him all my problems how he can help me giving me strength i can't deal with this anymore i want him to give me strength i know i will overcome this but i don't know how just by talking with him this literally helped me so much during this difficult times during this whole process and before i know it things were changing around me he was moving mountains he was moving he was moving everything around me so i can feel better of course there will be days that i'm like god what is this what am i feeling i don't know today it's not my day today i am not feeling better yesterday i was feeling so happy i was feeling great i was feeling amazing what's it what is happening today but that's depression that's part of it some days you will feel okay and the other days you will like be like okay so we're back to square one or what because i don't understand but 
it's okay. It's it's really okay. Once again, just allow yourself to feel. Just allow your, yourself to be vulnerable. Not every day will be will be the same. So it really helped me. And one thing for sure, there was one specific day that he literally shocked me because um i asked him for literally specifically one question i asked him something and i said okay god if you're hearing me can you just give me a specific sign but be literally specific specifically specific with this specific sign anyway you get what i'm saying right so be really so specific with this if you're hearing me if you're watching me if you're yeah if you're watching me crying my eyeballs out if you're there for me if i'm strong if i can overcome this can you just give me a specific sign and how i did this was um I'm going to give y'all you know the extra tip so y'all can also apply this in your life of course um, if you're on your spiritual spiritual journey for example they say that you can ask the universe or you can ask God whatever it is I remember at that time at that time or still every morning I watch a um, prayer um, of a pastor on my laptop and the title of this series is like different series and the title the specific title of this was an anchor and uh, um, I asked them okay if it's yeah can you give can you show me an anchor and if it's not show me a specific bird um, so I asked them this in the morning right mind you especially when you ask such things you, you just keep thinking about it the whole day like okay i'm going to get this sign i'm going to get this sign i'm going to get this sign but you don't know how or you just make something in your mind like okay when i open an instagram if i see this then this is the sign so this specific day i asked them in the morning this and the day was you know before i know it it was around i think 5 p.m. or something and I'm like okay God I asked you for something in the morning I'm I still didn't get the answer so are you going to give me an answer to this because I'm confused right now around I think seven or so um, I had to the grocery store to buy a few things that was needed and you know it was such a good weather and suddenly i got the feeling like hey let's go for a walk i don't go for walks at all i don't go for walks at all in my neighbor never ever i did that never but something just was screaming inside like hey let's go for a walk let's go for a walk anyway i went back home because you know i still had the things with me and I put all those things in the ki kitchen cabinet and in the fridge. I was chilling on my bed, but still there was a voice inside me that was saying, just let's go for a walk, let's go for a walk. I was like, okay, fuck this, let's go for a walk. I put on my gym clothing because I'm like, yes, I'm boosted. I really want to take a walk, blah, blah, blah. We're going to take a walk in nature, etc., etc. Nice. I went outside I was going for a walk and where I live in my neighbor there's like this river and there's so much different boats that anchor their self right at the river just in front of my house so I'm like okay I think this the this is the sign I must see an anchor of one of these boats let me tell y'all I walked literally one hour straight five kilometers i went so far from my home i lost control of everything i didn't see not even one anchor or that specific bird like how 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 before i know it i literally forgot about the the question that is going to give me an answer everything i was just zone out completely zone out enjoying the moment taking my walk taking some fresh um 
fresh air. You know, Lily enjoying nature. All of a sudden, I saw a 10 euro on the floor. I'm like, should I grab it or not? Sure. Should I grab this bill? 10 dollar, 10 euro bill or not? Something was saying, no, don't grab it. Don't grab it. But I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to grab it. But something was literally holding me back for not grabbing the 10 euro. So I kept walking. But the bill was literally in my head. It was literally in my head. The 10 euros, the 10 euros, the 10 euros. And there was like the end of the street or something. So um, I had to begin by walking inside because then you will j just have to walk to the highway and we're not going to keep walking all the way to the highway. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to turn around back and go and see if I can help if i can still grab that 10 euro i don't know what i was thinking so when i was turning back there there was this specific sign at the um side of the street and literally there was written these specific words god is talking to you there was written god is talking to you i'm like look at me i'm not even lying look at me i'm getting lily goosebumps i'm like okay 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 i kept on walking enjoying nature enjoying my walk in the nature of course um when i got back home before i stepped back inside from a few miles away i saw one specific person and i know immediately who this person was and but i'm still hesitating no it's not this person it's not this person when i got closer i saw that it was that specific person now here comes the surprise here comes the surprise i told god to be specific right not me not me entering entering the lift this person come running behind me we're both in the lift getting to our floor i turn and see that this person has a anchor tattoo how 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 hey hey god is amazing so just put God and you will do everything. I'm not go I'm not going to say that everything will fix themselves like in a few matters of seconds. It will take a while, but everything will find its way. And you see that after every storm there is a rainbow. So we all have to go through that storm so we can find our rainbow. Okay? Do yoga and meditate. I still didn't do yoga, but every morning okay let me just tell y'all what is my morning routine right now because my morning routine completely changed first thing when i wake up is most of the time i go to the bathroom first and then lay back on my bed pray talk with god um i have a big window so i just love to look outside i love to just look outside and see the sky and just talk to him i feel him more present with me at that moment and after i'm done talking to him i just meditate literally you can search on youtube different meditation for depression anxiety um students um stress ugh, to sleep like there's meditation for everything just search up what you want and you will find it self-love self-care um Lily, a little bit of everything. Meditation is so, so good. I swear. This, Lily, raise your vibration to the max. Yoga also is like samey meditation thing, but I still didn't try it out because I'm still in my meditation, you know, thing. And I love it as for now. So, yes, that's also one 
thing that really helped me so much tip number four is a workout and taking walks in nature these two things do it do it do it I just woke up one day and I'm like you know what I'm going to action I'm going to get resistant bands I'm going to grab a yoga mat so we can exercise at home if you want you can go to the gym pay to the gym a membership thingy but I was like nah I'm not going to waste money on memberships if I can do this myself at home just search on YouTube different exercises that you want to do for that specific day and do it yourself at home and also I live in a high-rise building so of course we have like stairwalks to every floor so I also just go from my floor to the bottom floor come back up like it's a super exercise thing I was exhausted ever after every workout so working out also helped so much just do it I know you'll be like no when i'm in my feelings when i'm done i don't want to do nothing that's when you have to do something okay let's be serious about it let's be serious that's when you just have to wake up from that bed because if you stay and keep laying in that bed you will get more and more in your depressed mo um, motion you will be procrastinating about everything you don't want to do nothing you don't want to speak to nobody like wake up wake up do some workout that shit helps or if you don't want to work out just go for a walk in nature nature is so calming like put on some music and go for a walk that shit works wonders wonders i swear um raise your vibration through meditation M meditation no manifestation <laughs> <laughs> yeah so how to raise your vibration you can also raise your vibration through meditation but um, let's say if you want to um, manifest a um, a relationship for example um, you can manifest this easily by raising your vibration so you really want that you know that husband that wifey right so one thing you'll be like okay i'm happy that i found my wifey i'm happy that i found my husband but you don't you don't have to say it like you know when you're all in your emotion that i'm happy that i found my husband i'm happy that i found my wife no you have to feel it just feel it like you already found your husband you can also like talk it into existence i've been doing this like i don't know where is my husband but i swear i have a husband i even didn't met my husband still but i know that i have a husband and i'm going to get married it's a statement and that's on period okay when i don't know but i'm going to get married and i'm going to meet my husband my soulmate soon okay so that's one way to just raise your vibration just feel it like feel that you already found that person feel that you already have that job feel that you're already rich like you will start feeling rich even when you're broke i swear i'm broke broke but i'm still going to say that i'm rich knowing that i have zero 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 balance on my bank account i'm still going to say to everybody yes i'm rich i have money i can make it rain raise your vibration raise it okay fair i don't know if i explained this one really good but i guess anyway ciao <laughs> um seventh i have play some music yes um you can play whatever you want by far by now everybody must know that playing music just relax everything like suddenly by playing music you just start dancing singing feeling yourself or whatever so just play some music on your speaker and dance sing do whatever you want to be pleased by music is just the way to go clean the house and room you can clean it day by day you don't have to clean the whole house the whole day no you can clean it day by day like for example starting with your clothes like folding your clothes or cleaning in the bathroom or making the bed when you wake up 
those type of things you can take it step by step you don't have to do everything all in one day but let me tell you when you begin with one thing you want to do everything i swear i swear and especially if you have music playing you want to do and finish everything having your house clean having your room clean and those turning on some candles or turning on your how do you call this diffuser like it's it gives you such a vibe such a relaxing vibe like spa vibes try it try it okay do your hair and dress yourself up you know you see me right now i'm literally in home i'm not going out i'm not I'm going nowhere but i have like this cute top and my shorts i did my hair i've been doing this for the last two months straight straight for you i swear last two months i've been doing this especially my hair if you're a close friend of mine or if you ask a close friend of mine or a family member of mine hey uh, does coco ever style your hair does she does um do her hair they will tell you straight up no try something new with your hair and don't get back into your sleeping clothes or those shit no dress up even when you're going to stay inside this also helps by raising your vibration it sounds it sounds so dumb but it's not when you're depressed you don't want anybody to see that you're depressed right everybody will think like yeah this girl is glowing in the meantime she isn't glowing she's just flowing with the moment okay i if i can i'm going to insert literally a few pictures of me with different hairstyles during this whole process and still everybody was complimenting me everybody was like hey you're glowing i don't know what it is about you yes i'm glowing i'm loving myself it's a self-care it's a self-love like yes first see it my energy i'm feeling better my vibration is so high anyway child you're the only one that knows what's going down the other ones out there don't have to know what's going down okay anyway give it it style your hair dress up even put on cologne like put on your perfume as if somebody is going to visit you or you're going on a date look at me i did my brows i have lip gloss like raise your vibration mommy raise your vibration papi don't let everybody see you see you as a weak human being because we're not weak so we're going to get a little bit more deep 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 let me let me let me just see if this is recording yes we're going to get deep and deep 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 going to talk some serious business right now especially these two tips that i'm going to give right now be prepared because i know you're not prepared for what i'm saying i'm what for what i'm going to say right now okay so this next one is practice being celibate why is this so important because nobody talks about this often especially when we were raised we always hear like don't have sex before marriage but they never explained why so i'm going to explain why they always said that and it didn't give that specific example or the specific reason why we should be celibate and wait their marriage why practice being celibate okay so when you're having sexual intercourse with someone even with condom or just raw straightforward you will you will have a soul transfer with this person if this person is going through something and he's really good at hiding it and you don't know what's going on in their life especially if it's just a side chick or a side nigga or a sugar daddy or whatever situation ship relationship whatever you want to call it barku ship you're going to transfer your soul to one another but can you explain this better coco of course uh, of course 
if this person is dealing with something or if this specific person it's toxic you're going to be toxic also you will start by feeling our type of ways that you never felt before i swear you will i don't know their spirit lily will interrupt your own spirit by some and by in some cases um there's a few of us that you know are spiritually gifted so you can have telepathic you know vibrations with one another or you can feel like um when a person is going through a difficult time or when they're thinking about you you can really feel it or when they're stressed or having depression anxiety whatever you can feel it so don't put yourself in that situation you know serapia serapia close your legs for the man, keep that ding a ding in your boxer till you have at least someone that, yeah, that's the only person that you, you're banging for that moment, okay? I'm not going to say that you have to be in a relationship or whatever, but stick to that specific one person. For the man, for the man, you can always notice, and y'all know what I'm talking about. You know when a girl is having sexual intercourse with another man. Y'all can notice, y'all can feel it. Or you will have, after, I don't know, after signs about this. For us women, we know, we know instantly, instantly. We can notice even by going down there, we can notice the smell or the taste. You know, but we're ignoring the signs. Don't, don't, don't ignore it. Don't. Don't ignore it. Go with it and say, you know what? Never mind. Pack your things and go. Because afterwards, we also can get the we also can get the after signs. Even especially when you went raw, you will get the after signs. Your your discharge will change. There will be a sudden smell. Like your body will tell you. Your kitty cat will tell you don't ignore the signs don't i saw a tiktok last time a girl every time she was hooking up with this specific man something bad was happening to her yes no fucking spirit girl that's why i'm saying go celibate yes i know i know i've been struggling with it i've been struggling with it because i've been celibate for more than a month right now on my journey to two months it's hard it's hard but i'm not going to give my golden kitty cat to just that random dude no you have to work your way through because this thing is expensive i'm not go going to give my soul away just for somebody just for the heat of the moment no 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 uh -uh. Uh -uh. not going to happen okay energy it's easily transfer to others we're walking souls we're walking energies i love being in the sun i don't want to be around people that has a dark cloud above them no no i love to be in the sun so you know stay right there with your dark cloud because i love to be in the sun during your healing process you will get to know who is your real friends and who are your fake friends and don't be hesitate by eliminating those specific fake friends out of your life don't don't just block them go your way i'm that person that i'm not going to block you i'm going to let you see whatever that i'm doing watch me shine but i'm not going to give you that cock off my tea anymore because you already showed me especially when you take that step back and observe i swear you don't even have to talk to that person you will see in their act that they're fucking fake the whole time so be aware of those fake friends be aware of them you will lose a whole lot of friends also those those friends that you never imagined that was fake behind your back 
they will be revealed in front of your eyes and don't be hesitating by moving on move past them blocking them and erasing them from your life ever don't just cut them off and move on with your life you will be so grateful for this afterwards and by losing afterwards you will be gaining and those friends that you will be gaining you will see that those were always your real friends i also gained during this process followers that became my friends i have followers that is with me since day one i have followers that is a few steps away from me that is ready to just be by my side and make sure that i'm okay so losing won't like it won't do you nothing okay just block delete bye bye do it felicia do it fernando okay cut them off cut them off okay we're not going to fake it here at all cut them off next one is Cook something new or go on new adventures. So um, I didn't go on new adventures yet, but I still, but I have a few adventures planned. One thing that I really want to experience that I never experienced is either go on a vacation and also I want to experience solo traveling. So that's one of my two biggest okay let's say adventures and also i want to do skydiving i don't know why because i'm afraid but at the same time i really want to try it out and you know overcome my fears but anyway anyway but what i did i cooked something new something that i never cooked i tried it out and it came out infinito so that's also one thing you can search on youtube or Instagram or whatever social media platform you want for like ideas and just try it out like Shit helps, you know next one on my list is take yourself on a date alone By yourself Solito sola solo go by yourself. You don't need to be with somebody else to just do certain things you can do this alone you were born alone do your shit alone go by yourself and do it by yourself go shopping by yourself go take a dinner by yourself go to the movies by yourself whatever you want to do just do it by yourself at first i swear you will feel so weird especially if you're that person that you never did such things by yourself at first it will be so weird you want to just you know go back home but pressure yourself and be there and enjoy the moment before you know it you're in your element enjoying your own company this is the best thing ever this is the best feeling ever and also you will feel accomplished like wow i didn't know that i was able never in my life that i could do this no i never know that i was able to do this by myself i only have two more tips um compliment others like did you ever went out it can be with friends or by yourself anyway you can be anywhere and all of a sudden someone just compliments you and tells you hey you're looking nice i love your hair i love your dress i love your smile don't you feel all of a sudden that your vibration is lifted you feel good right so why not do this with others you we all don't we don't know what another person is going to just by complimenting another person like be genuine with your compliments please don't fake it like i love your dress it's so cute but in the back of your mind you're like what is this zebras and stripes don't go nah -uh. mm -mm. those colors you're looking like rainbow don't nah -uh. be genuine with your compliments say it when you really mean it okay 
say it when you really mean it and before you know it you will make another person stay just by doing that and also you will feel better just by doing that i've been doing this i've been lacking on this because i love complimenting Be especially my guys especially my guys y'all love to be complimented but women nowadays don't do this often like, girl, tell that man, hey, papi, you're looking hot today. Mm, you're smelling good. I love your new hairstyle. They, they love that shit. They won't forget that compliment never in their life. They will be remembered. They can be married like 20 years after and still remember that you compliment them about that specific thing. Men love those shit. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Let me, let me know. Let me know. Am I wrong? Because I bet I'm not. Us women also love compliments, so why not do this to others? Compliment a man, compliment a woman, tell them be genuine with your compliments. Make your day and make another's day better. Just do it, just do it. Don't be afraid, just do it and go with the flow. Last but not least is look yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror and talk to yourself every morning or before going to sleep look yourself in the mirror it may sound weird but just try this for a whole week start by doing this three days and you will do this for a whole week a whole month forever of your life just look yourself in the mirror and compliment yourself hey you're beautiful look at your smile you're amazing we can overcome everything you have such a kind heart. I will always take take care of you. Like those such things. Talk them, talk them into your life. You will see, you will feel you. Hey, I swear, you will feel like the queen of the palace has arrived. You will feel better, and your day will be better, or your day will start better. Okay, just do it. Do it look in the mirror and compliment yourself or just speak better about yourself look at your body you're looking so hot like who who is going to tell you that you're not hot who is going to tell you that this body is whack no no uh -uh. this body is mine and i love every inch of it i love my hair i love my smile i love my eyes Whatever you like about yourself or whatever you're doubting about yourself, talk better about it and you will feel better about it. For my guys, especially if you don't get complimented in this lifetime, talk to yourself, look yourself up in the mirror like, huh? you, hey? What? Sende, sende, kompalaga. Talk good to yourself, you will feel better. So, one thing also you can practice just by looking at a picture um, and just admire yourself. Your hottest picture ever. Admire yourself. Like, Pick the things that you love most about that specific picture. I'm talking good about it. Vibration, sky high. Close your eyes and take deep breaths. Inhale, exhale. Do that for like five times. You will be fine in a matter of seconds. Okay, sis and bros. I love each one of y'all. Take care. If anything, y'all can just jump in the comment section or jump into my DMs and I'll help you. Thank you once again for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video next week. And next week, we'll be, we will be starting again with our vlogs. So, make sure that you're subscribed and join the Google fam. Gracias. Ooh, wow. Gracias once again for watching this video completely. And I'll see you. I'll see y'all next week. Bye, mis amores. Ciao.